Hello there, welcome to this video. Thank you so much for being here. This is the Bookkeeper Master on YouTube. In this tutorial video for Zero Accounting Software, I'm going to show you how to organize and manage fixed assets by using the fixed asset register, the fixed asset feature on Zero Accounting Software. Simply go to the top left here, click on your company name, and go to settings. Once you're in settings, scroll down to the bottom and find the advanced settings link. So mine says looking for advanced settings and I just click on that link. This is the page you want to be on. We have fixed assets where we create and manage fixed assets. But before we click on that, we have the fixed asset settings. Now, depending on which version of zero you're using, these options may not appear in that exact place. Fixed assets might be down here somewhere, right at the top of the list. Same with fixed asset settings. So find these two links, these two buttons on this page. And we're going to have a look at the settings first. We'll then look at fixed, fixed assets. So let's click on fixed asset settings. This is where we create our asset types. So the different types of fixed assets we're going to have, such as computer equipment, office equipment, you might have one for machinery, for motor vehicles. The current types will show in this list. There's currently two. If I want to add another one, I just click on asset type. If I click on that, I can then add a new asset type. If I click on it, let's do motor vehicles. So this is going to be my new asset type, my new asset category. Asset account, you choose the account that you want to use the nominal account that you want motor vehicles to be posted to the accumulated depreciation account so less accumulated depreciation on motor vehicles you may need to add those accounts in the chart of accounts if this is an asset type that's not a commonly used asset type by default office equipment computer equipment motor vehicles are on um, zero you may have to add some others, plant machineries here too. If you want to have some sort of asset account, say for machinery or something very specific like office desks, you're going to have to add those accounts in the chart of accounts and then you can come back here and add them as a type. The depreciation expense account is going to be depreciation expense. Now already we've only filled in three boxes, but already it's quite clear that you really do need to understand depreciation and, a, and accounting in order to allocate this correctly and use this feature. So maintaining a fixed asset register is not something that's very basic. I suggest that it can be assigned to anybody in the business and they can do it. It does require accounting knowledge, especially to do with depreciation and how to account for depreciation in order to manage this and set it up correctly. We then have the book depreciation default. So this is a depreciation method. Most of the time it's going to be reducing balance. Sometimes you'll use straight line. You can have a no depreciation option too. So you could potentially add things like property to the fixed asset type and the fixed asset register and choose no depreciation. It won't then depreciate that asset. So let's do reducing balance. And then we can do four month or actual days. So do you want the depreciation depreciation to be based on full calendar months or the days per the year? So if our month has passed, it would depreciate by that full month, one month. If you do by days, it can depreciate on a daily basis. If you want to depreciate those items that often. And then we have the depreciation rate. So let's do 25%. So all that has been added. The whole point and purpose of setting this up is any motor vehicles that, that are added to the fixed asset register and are under this account type, this asset type that I've selected, motor vehicles, will then depreciate by this method, by this amount, and be posted to these accounts. So it automates everything, it streamlines everything, makes it easier for you. Let's save that. We now have our motor vehicles. You can obviously edit these anytime. If I go to computer equipment, 
you can edit and the information here 40% is very high and it could be that's going to be 20% from now on. Once you're happy with how the asset types are set up, we go back to advanced accounting, click on fixed assets, and this is where we can create and manage our assets. You can see we have a few assets on here already. If I click on new asset, I can simply fill in the details to enter the new asset. Now, a lot of this information will actually be filled in automatically when I choose the asset type. So if I have a new vehicle, Perhaps this is the registration number. You put in the asset number. This will go up by one each time, but obviously you can change the prefix and number to anything you want. The purchase date, the purchase price, warranty, serial number. Now we get to the asset type. So if this is a motor vehicle, you can see a lot of this is being filled out, such as the depreciation method and amount. Let's put in a description and then we can click register and that asset will be added to the fixed asset register. So you can see it's here. VN21YPE. Now once you have all your assets on the register, all you have to do is click on run depreciation once a month, once a year, depending on how often you're doing the depreciation so that the from is from the last time it was run. So the last time it was run, it was up to 30th of April, 2023. So this is now going from 1st of May, 2023. It could be that our year end is 30th of September and it's currently October or after 30th of September. We can run the depreciation. You can see the amounts have come up. If I click confirm, it will depreciate those assets and post all that information to the accounts. When I come back to run depreciation, the from will then be 1st of October 2023. So you can't duplicate depreciation. You can only ever do from the last run depreciation, the last time the depreciation was run up to. Hopefully that makes sense. That is the basics of the fixed asset register on zero. You can see the last depreciation is actually showing here. So you can always see that there instead of clicking on run depreciation. Thank you so much for watching.